It's strange, man. We back. One more game. We got a Dutch Avelli. It's called Rumors. Let me start off by this. I really had no intention on doing this video at all. It also wasn't even requested per se. And I... I really was struggling between even keeping the videos that I did of Dutch Avelli up on my channel because I am so anti the, the, the rumors going around. So I feel like it... Keeping it pure with you, you hear me? I believe and stand on the side of... You know what I mean? It's just me, bro. And I like to be pure, you hear me? Hopefully he address it in the clear sense. I'm attached to a chest on three minutes. I forget this three minutes. I feel it with bells. A wise man once sends it back. I wish I had it to find itself. You can't cancel me. I've been counseled. Flapping through the stones. How's man gonna talk about drill? But when it gets rude, I'm gonna do the blow. Bouncing from West Big Best. Gonna give it out to me and no one else. Try to drag my name through the mud. It's controversial. I know that it sells. I know they wanted me to take it out. Just look at my back and I'm overwhelmed. Yeah, I got peas in the back. I'm having a hard time already, bro. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Um, off the dribble, I just feel like, bro, at this point in time, like these kind of meals, bro, when it's time, when you get to these type of restaurants, sometimes you don't really want to worry about the, 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 the appetizers. You want to get straight to the meat and allow me to digest some of this so that I can understand, like, because listen, bro, because listen, bro. Okay, remember to ask this, bro. Do you separate R. Kelly from his music? You know what I mean? Do you do you separate R. Kelly, the artist, from his music, bro? And that's a bad example. I don't want to correlate the two. It's nothing like that, but the point of the matter is the same. I'm saying this. If you continue to push his music or you continue to listen to his music and say, as a person, he's a fucked up nigga, but the music was dope to my soul and I have memories as a child off that shit, so I'm going to still listen to it. What you're doing is you're still providing him a certain quality of lifestyle because those spins will generate some type of revenue for him. So what you're doing is you're still saying, hey, I support this nigga. Unknowingly, you're saying, I support what he does and I want to make sure that he's as successful as possible simply by still listening to his music. So that's where I'm at with this. That's where I'm at with this because I don't really understand the story. I understand how media can twist shit and twerk it. But then there's a really, 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 really influential guy in my life who I, who I um, value the opinion of. That person is International Ferg and he fucks with him more than I do. You know what I mean? So when he says, hey, listen. Let me give this let me give this man the benefit of the doubt and let me hear his side or let me not judge him based on what I stole from way over. Nigga, I feel like he deserves the same, you hear me? And I, listen, bro, I, that's just me, bro. And whether I like it or not, I'm putting this out. Because I feel like let's talk about it. Okay. At this point, I'm about the money. I'm not even worried about the snitch. Listen, let me let me also say this, bro. I don't want to be stuck in a group of the niggas who turn their back on you without even knowing, bro. Like just cold turkey. It's called the mob mentality or the, or the gang mentality or the, or the ride mentality. Whatever it's called, bro, I don't want to be a part of that. I want to be an individual thinker who says, let me take the um, the pieces to this puzzle, put it together on my own. Like, yeah, I mean, I want to, I, I just need to know, but I just, I don't need to know. It, it ain't going. Who? Who? He better not have said bugs. Yeah, I'll turn this shit off. He better not have said See the world try turn on me. Yeah, I know God's gonna understand. I still take risks when it comes to gang. God says the snitch. You got a man like off in the can. Karma is a bitch when I put that biggie on her in my hand. Bad is king them bad. Fuck up these Christmas plans. It's only seventy chips on man. Yeah, I got brother man in you mad. Ain't tryna go tip for tap. Tryna make a man down when I rinse his neck. Last year I made a blood look lit. This year turning everything back to black. If it was true, I'd have been in jail. I ain't got time to adjust no room and I forget this room and I fill it with bells. A wise man once says it's that. I wish the hair is to find itself. That's a nice jacket. That's a really nice jacket. Look, 
famous and I'm dangerous. Too many lies on my name, so I can't explain it. Put on my black jack suit, put on my trainers. Put a rap cap boy in the papers. Just fire. Next year I ain't doing no favors. This year That's I came fire, to you hear me? That's where I'm at with it. That's where I'm at with it. Put your trainers on. Put your tracksuit on. Hit the streets. Talk to a nigga face to face. If you got to you hear me? I like. That's where we supposed to. That's what we waiting on. You hear me? Talk to a player. Famous and I'm dangerous. Too many lies on my name, so I can't explain it. Exactly. Put on my black tracksuit. Put on my trainers. Put a rap cap. Put in the papers. Just. Next year I ain't doing no favors. This year I came to a realization. I never knew God made so many haters. Fucking haters. That's a fact. But they could all burn in hell. She keep telling me she's loyal to me or she want to defend me or the new Chanel. Pick up that broom and sweep. You are no hot block, two man deep. I ain't playing no games with his handy. I'm with the app team. We're playing for keeps. I see what he said about me on the net. We'll see when we meet. I don't think he can handle this beef. I make your whole family read it and weep. If it was child of pain and gel, I ain't got time to adjust no broom and I forget this broom and I feel it with bells. A wise man once says it's that. I wish the haters to find itself. They got gaps on me. I've been counseled flat, big food with skulls. If it was true, I'd have been in jail. I ain't got time to adjust no broom and I forget this broom and I feel it with bells. A wise man once says it's that. I wish the haters to find itself. They got gaps on me. I've been counseled flat, big food with skulls. Fire. Fire, bro. Um, rather than focusing on the things of the song that I didn't like, right? Let me tell you what I did like. Or let me say let me say something else I didn't like, right? And, and you know, positive vibes only, but we're trying to do what's uh, right for the cause, right? Um, I don't like that if it was true, I'd have been in jail. So that's not a good enough narrative for me. It's not a such thing as, oh, nigga, I didn't go to jail, so it can't be true. I, I, I don't, I don't, because you could pay people off. You got so much influence, you can scare them. There's so many other factors that can, that can come into the situation to make her decide to say, hey, listen, we ain't going. But what I do like is, nigga, it's a lot of niggas saying my name. I don't put on my track suit. We're going to talk about this. I don't think your family can handle because, nigga, if you put that type of rap on me or you say that kind of shit about my name, bro, I feel like to some degree, nigga, I'm coming all the way at you. We're going to have to address this to, you know what I mean? And, and we, on, we, we, we definitely on the tube. So what you say, you have to be careful of. So I know that he can't just go out and say, but, you know what I mean? So when you see the anger in his rap and say, nigga, your family, your people, nigga, I'm putting on my track suit. I'm filling up the broom with, nigga, I, I, I immediately, I say, listen, bro. He got some type of compassion about what he's saying. And, and, and he truly feel offended that a nigga would even play with his name with this type of shit. So to some degree, but I start to say, I, I, I rocks with him, bro. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I feel like, just from an unbiased point, from an unbiased point of view, bro. It's not good to say if it was true, I'd have been in jail. And since I'm not, I'm supposed to just, nigga, nah. But based on you being offended that a nigga will even associate that shit with your name. And now we're going to not play games. And I'm not going to do no more favors for you niggas. And I'm finna, nigga, that I can respect. That I can I can get behind. That I can look a man in his face and say, hey, listen, man. Nigga, no, he should have never been. All right, for sure, cut, go squabbling then. If you feel that, go squabble, cut. Like, you feel me? Like, this just... When I was in prison, I'm, I'm not saying I'm not saying Dutch go squabble no nigga. I'm beyond that point in life, but I'm saying when I was in prison and a nigga would say A, B, and C about this man, I feel like to some degree you niggas need to meet face to face and let's figure out who gonna fold. And if no nigga folds, you niggas need to. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, you know I mean. Hey, he told him who told him nigga what? No, so I know how to even explain. My, I'm not in the business of explaining myself. We can go ahead and get right to this. Yeah, hear me. So for a nigga to have some type of all jokes aside, but for a nigga to get behind himself and stand on his name and address this in a public fashion without trying to you know what i mean fire dope nice jackets fresh nigga you hear me that's all i gotta say about it though man hey i pray to god that it comes to the light that the man is completely innocent and that that lady was not being played with us you know what i mean and whatever happened is you know between you and the lord you hear me and i trust that i trust that um Positive vibes will always prevail. Once you're doing a drug, will come to the light. And I think that you should always stand for your name and do what's right, bro. And if you know that what's wrong is being done for it, you have to... I got a tattoo, bro. I got a tattoo right here around my chest. It says, uh, in the absence of light, darkness prevails. And what that means is, at some point in time, it is your responsibility to stand up for what's right. Speaking to myself. Fires. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. It's getting hot. The nigga scooping up. I'm uncomfortable with that. It don't, it don't cost no money to salute a nigga to say, damn, my nigga, your shit hot, nigga. It don't cost no money, nigga. You niggas like, like y'all got to pay to give a nigga love.